Thank you for all the gifts. Thank you for all the gifts, everybody. Welcome in. You're doing good? Ready for Meow and Me this week? I am. I'm so excited. Okay. Ooh, look at that. Look at that cute little dog. Thank you for the cherries. Welcome in, everybody. Oh, sorry. Welcome in, everybody. If you if you caught our intro, that was our little intro um, to just welcome you in and let you know who our special guests are this week. I'm very excited for our special guests. We have a bunny and a dog up this week. No kitties for you, though. Um, hopefully, you're okay with that. We're going to get started. <clears throat> Queen Savage, hello. Welcome in, everybody. We're going to get started with a little with a little housekeeping stuff. Um, just to get to get everybody um, in the thing, I have I have awesome bouncers, and they're going to be here throughout um, the the show tonight. If you're rude to my guests, you'll be immediately exited out of the out of the um, featured show. This is a featured show, which means that there will be no cussing. There will be no like uh, anything that violates our terms and service here on Meet Me. Um, <clears throat> if there is any kind of um, rude behavior, once again, the bouncers will send you on your way and you can come back again a different day just not today okay um also with that being said you know sometimes the the chat gets busy and i don't get to see everybody's um gifts that they send um don't worry i will see them towards the end and i will definitely let you know that i do see them and that i am excited for them as well so thank you right now to sir rock and Thank you so much for um, the gifts, Mrs. Y. If you do see the free gifts in the bottom right-hand corner, please send those as well. That helps me trend as a streamer. Welcome in for 20 and Fred and everybody. Welcome in. I'm very excited this week because we have some. So we have a new guest and we have a returning guest with a new dog in his life. Unfortunately, his last um, animal passed away but he does have a new dog and we are gonna meet his new puppy this week on meow and me and now like i said we also we also have another another animal this week and it's a bunny a very little bunny i'm excited like it's not a reindeer i know you guys are excited for christmas but you know you still have two months okay you still have two months this is bunny season right now okay so you're just gonna have to accept it's bunny season and not reindeer season yet all right um <laughs> yes the bunny i'm excited for cc has her bunny here but let's get started with some really um basic stuff how about we get started with how many dog breeds are there worldwide is it 400? Is it 1600? Is it 800 or 200? Oh gee, lucky me, yeah. How many do you think there are worldwide dog breeds? 420 is going with 800. It's not 800. Did anybody else have a guess? 600? That wasn't an option, but I'm gonna think you meant uh, 400. And that's correct, it is 400. So there's approximately 400 recognized breeds of dog worldwide. Woo, look at that wheel, okay. There is contention though, as in all fields. Um, however, as to the exact number of dog breeds, 
as various kennel clubs recognize different breeds. So that's interesting, right? Um, what is the largest breed of dog? Who knows what the largest breed of dog is? It is it a Mastiff? Is it a Wolfhound? Is it a St. Bernard or a Great Dane? Which one? Ooh, bunnies! Um, which one do you think it is? We're going with the Great Dane. It's not a Dane. The Wolfhound. Queen Savage got it right. The Irish Wolfhound is generally considered the world's largest, tallest dog. According to legend, the Irish wolfhounds were guardians and companions of ancient Irish kings and were valued by Celtic chieftains as dogs of war. According to some sources, they, as the name implies, originally bred to hunt wolves. In spite of their impressive height, the average weight for an Irish wolfhound is only 120 pounds. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. So welcome into Meow and Me, everyone. Thank you for all the gifts, the cherries. Thank you for the wheels. I appreciate you. Um, I hope you are having a great, 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 great night tonight. And that um, that you're enjoying the show so far with a little animal trivia. We, we are... Um, doing a little trivia before our first special guest of the night, T Dog, is on. Welcome in, meow. Okay, what is the fastest breed of dogs? Hi, Angel. Is it a German Spitz? Is it a Harrier? Is it a Swedish Valhoun? Or is it a Greyhound? Is it a Valhoun? I just like saying Valhoun. Okay, 420 says it's a hound. You are right. 420, you are correct. Reaching up to speeds of 45 miles per hour, the Greyhound is the fastest breed of dog. In fact, the only land animal faster than a Greyhound is the cheetah. Not surprising it's a cat, am I right? Meow. But anyways, um, not surprisingly, Greyhounds are bred primarily for racing. Go figure. Um, okay, what, you guys probably will know this, but I'm going to ask it anyways. What is the most popular dog in the United States? Is it the Poodle? Is it a Beagle? Is it a Labrador Retriever? Or is it a German Shepherd? Labrador, you guys are so good. We can't ask you any questions. You know the answers. You guys are awesome. According to the American Kennel Club registration statistics, the most popular dog in the United States is the Labrador Retriever. In 2004, even nearly three times as many labs were registered as any other any other dog breed. This is incredible. That's a lot of dogs, and that's a lot of Labradors. All right, we only have time for one more question before I. Welcome in our first special guest, T-Dog, tonight with his beautiful new puppy. Okay, this is what I'm going to ask. What breed of dog has the longest ears? Have you ever heard that song? Do your ears hang low? Do they wobble to and fro? Can you tie them in a nut? Okay, I know you don't come here to listen to me sing. That is an obvious thing. I know you're like, please stop singing. Thank you, Sirach. Yeah, I know. I see Sirak was like, please, I'll just send this gift and she'll stop singing. Okay, what breed has the longest ears? Is it a Basset Hound? Is it a Shih Tzu? Is it a Siberian Husky? Is it a Polish Hound? Basset Hound? Hello, Cleo. Basset Hound? Let's take a look. It is a Basset Hound. Thank you, Mr. Moon. Okay, Basset Hounds are generally considered to be the breed of dog with the longest ears. And according to the Guinness Book of World Records, a Basset Hound from Germany named Jack holds the record for the longest ears on a dog. Jack's ears measure a remarkable 13 inches and are so long that he sometimes trips over them when he walks. Well done, Jack. Well done, 13 inch ear issue. Okay. Wow, Jack. Wow. Okay, put those ears down, sir. We don't need, oh, don't get those ears out, Jack. 
Okay, welcome in everybody to Meow and Me. We are we are so happy you came in. Thank you for those free gifts. If you see a video, feel free to watch it. Thank you for coming in. We have we are um, the apps only featured pet show, and we have our first special guest coming in named T Dog with his dog right now. So please feel free to put some doga emojis in the comments to welcome in our first special guest. Yusuf, the only person able to be in the box at this time is T Dog. So please don't request the box. All right, T Dog. What's up? What's up? Who do we Hello? have here? Look at this little Hi cutie. Hi okay, so who is this little cutie who's running around this down here? Titus. Thank you, S. This is Titus. Hi, buddy. <laughs> what did you say his name was, T Dog? Titus. I can't hear over his amazing, like, breath. Thank you, S. Look at his little butt. <laughs> so cute. No, buddy. We're enjoying this. Look at him checking him out. He is like, he is such a cutie. Um, T Dog, what kind of dog is it? He is an English uh, bulldog. He's an English bulldog. And his name is what? Titus. Titus? Yes. A Titus? And how long have you had Titus? Hi, Titus. Um, probably about. Five and a half months. Five and a half so months. I got a nut, He's still a puppy. I got a not too far out, not too long after uh, my girl passed away. Okay. And and how old is he altogether? He's probably about two, I think. Two years old. Nobody. He's so happy to be on the show. Look at his little face, everybody. Look at him. He's so cute. Hi, Titus. He loves the attention. Look at his little tongue. <laughs> Hi, Titus. Oh, no. What are you doing, little sweet baby? You touch the room? I love his nose. I just want to smooch it. Yeah. He is exciting from all that exercise. Look at him. So why did you choose to name him Titus, or did he already come named? He was already named. He was actually my stepbrother's dog, whenever, but he was going to get rid of me, so I just took him over. Okay, so he was your stepbrother's dog, and yeah. then you adopted him from your stepbrother? Pretty much, yeah. Pretty much, yeah. Okay, okay. Is that just because your stepbrother couldn't handle him anymore or was moving or something? Yeah, pretty, pretty much. And I, 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 you know, yeah, and I was kind of looking for a dog anyways. So after my girl passed away. Nobody. Right. Yeah. How long have so you had him for five and a half months, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. What are the um? What are the what are the big differences you've noticed between having a Great Dane versus having an English Bulldog? Um, the size. <laughs> That's for sure. My Great Dane is a lot bigger. He's also got a lot more energy than my Great Dane does. You know, than my Great Dane did. You know, she was cool to learn to play the lights fan. So, um, he's still a puppy, so he's definitely got a lot more energy. That is for sure. Right. Do you have to go for walks more often, or what kind of things oh, do you do for exercise together? Definitely, um, you definitely go for walks and stuff like that. I take one walk at least once a day, usually, sometimes more. But how much? How many days? How many times a day do you have to walk him? At least once, but sometimes just two or three times. Nobody. Right. Okay. 
Interesting. I think the the comments are broken. Hello, De Bella. Okay, so um, thank you, guys. You guys can please make sure you, please make sure I have one bouncer here throughout the night, guys. Hello, sunshine. Hi, angel. So tell me what you think of the how how do you feel about having an English bulldog versus a Great Dane T dog? Honestly, I'm more of a bigger dog person, so I would never move towards the good things. But honestly, he's a bit, honestly, an amazing dog. You know? I'm, I'm more just of a having dog some troubles person. hearing you, T Dog. <clears throat> can you hear me? I'm just. Uh, can you? Um, I think I hear a lot of panting, and I know that's. Um, I know that's Titus just being excited. I'm wondering if you could speak a little bit more into the um, the microphone, please. Thank you, everybody. So, I'm more of a bigger dog person, but I mean, I definitely love Titus, but I'm more of a good thing, you're more of a lab person. But um, I've always had bigger dogs, so. So, this is the first time you've had a smaller dog? Uh, pretty much. I We had a couple when we were little, but not many. Oh, wow. Hey, buddy. He's so happy. I love it. We're still having some problems hearing you, T Dog. You may just have to speak really loud, okay? Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, he, he's extremely happy. He's a very happy boy. That is for sure. What kind of foods do bulldogs have to eat? Do they have a special diet they have to follow or no? Buddy, you just gotta watch kind of like the amount, you know, but other than that, it's really no special diet. Can't the amount much. of what? You just have to watch kind of like the amount that you feed them, but other than that, that's about it. You just can't feed them too much. You can't feed them too much, gotcha. So, and do they just eat regular dog food, or do you have a special yeah. dog food you have to feed them? Yeah, they just eat regular dog food. Just looking at the dog. Hi, buddy. Do you have to brush his teeth? He's got really big teeth. <laughs> no, I do not brush his teeth. I don't know how they are. I mean, uh, it, it's... Maybe that's in the bleed. I don't know if the dogs have bigger teeth or what. But, I mean, you know... Or do they have like these? Um, do they have like these dog bones called greenies? That if you give them to them, like it helps with their breath. He's got hot breath. His breath is coming in hot. Yeah, he's got a lot of breath. <laughs> he does. Like if his breath smells bad, I would feel bad no, being no, near him. <laughs> no, the old dog doesn't smell too bad. Oh, hi, oh bye boy. Bye. Look at him. Hi, He's saying, hi, Titus. Who's the pretty doggy? Does he do any tricks? Does he do any tricks? He doesn't do any tricks. Not so good, but he does not do any tricks, no. No tricks for you? Hi, no tricks for Titus. Hi, big boy. I, I just want to smush him. Definitely How do you that not sure. want to smush him? <laughs> you tired, Bubba? <laughs> What's his favorite thing to do? Um, play. He loves balls, so he loves to play with balls. Do not give this boy a ball, because he will... You know, uh, He'll go running after it? He will, yes. Hi, Bubba. Are you a good boy, Titus? Are you a good boy? Now, what do you know about English Bulldogs, T-Dog? Honestly, I have to. I haven't even read up on them, honestly. Um, 
I, I got to do a lot of research on the breed. I do. <laughs> I'm gonna I was be honest with you. I have not read a whole lot up on these boys. No, that's and that's interesting. I am. Um, um, I just want to. So, does he have any bad habits that you have encountered with him so far? I know you haven't had him too long. Any, but I'm wondering, does he have any bad habits? No, no, he, he's actually a pretty good dog. Um, yeah, he, he's got a he's a good dog. Now you said that the other day that he took off running someplace. Yeah, he did get out of the backyard. He got out of the backyard. He he did he does dig a little bit, so that is one of his bad habits. He did just step out he of the, he did just step a hole and got out of the backyard and was gone for probably ten hours. So he dug himself a hole underneath the fence and took off? Yeah, and he just going for probably ten hours. We finally, we finally found him. We, we did find him. There's no telling where he went. Yeah, you guys eventually did find him. So he's a smart dog. So he knew that he had to go down in order to get out of the yard. Right? He's very smart. He's a he's, he's smart. That is for sure. Right. Thank you, Taz. So what other things does he, he like to do? Him. Does he play with other dogs at all? He loves other dogs. That's probably one of the reasons why he got out because there's other dogs at the neighbors. So he wanted to go play with the other dogs. Come on, buddy. He Is that where you guys dogs. found him? He is that he we did find him at one of the neighbors, yes. He's definitely a people person. He was visiting his girlfriend dog. Thank Probably. you, Fred. <laughs> Probably, yes. He that found the girlfriend down the, down in the, down the street and disappeared underneath the the fence to go say hello. Yeah. I definitely need to get him fixed. That is for sure. Okay, so he's not been neutered. No, he needs to be fixed. I I, I know that really you know he helps with the you know taming him taming him down a little bit too. So he definitely needs to be fixed. <laughs> Queen Savage and those Queen Savage and Fred, they are throwing up those dog gang signs. They're like dog 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 dog. Hi, Bubba. You say hi. Hi, Mina. Thank you. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Okay, so what other things does he do that are like weird or funny or a little naughty? He's, I don't know. He's a really good dog. He really is. He's, he's just, a, he's just a good. He's, he's just a, a good dog. baby. Yes, he's a really good dog. I've ever been you know, digging every now and then, get, get the stuff out of the fence. Hi, brother. Hi, puppy. Um, yeah, it may be something that he looks into at his local humane society if he can get a neutered cheaper. Yes, absolutely, sunshine. Yes, this is a bulldog, an English bulldog at that, Britain's finest. This is T-Dog's new love of his life. Where does where does he sleep at, T-Dog? He sleeps in his bed. There's, he's got a couple of beds right here. Not with me. That is one place he doesn't, he's not allowed on my bed. He knows that. He's not allowed to sleep with you at night. Is he? I bet you he no. would be a, a bed hog. He probably would. Yes, but my I didn't want my other dog to sleep here. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> oh, well. okay. oh, that's funny. my only. That's my place. 
And he knows that. He knows not to get on my back. That is for sure. <laughs> now, do you know, like, with your old dog, you know, um, you kind yeah. of had a bit, like, a more of an intimate relationship because you had had him for a much longer period of time. But, you know, have you noticed with Titus that you and Titus are developing a bond? Oh, definitely. There's definitely a bond. Yeah, I've been a bond in the last couple of months, you know. He, yeah. he um, there's definitely a big bond. With us. I mean, we kind of knew each other before, but there's definitely a really big bond. With us. Hey, buddy. Hey. Aww. He's starting to call. He's starting to calm down a little bit. Like he's like, "All right, it's been hard being like the princess of the show, the prince of the show." Yeah, he does <laughs> calm down. After a while. He does calm down after a while. Yes, he definitely does. Calm down. <laughs> but how do you give him a bath? He's a big dog. Like, do you have to um, put it's him hard. in your bathtub? <laughs> it, it's hard. Yeah, what? yeah, you pretty much gotta put him in the bathtub. Yeah. Yes, you definitely gotta put. Yes, you, you gotta put him in your bathtub in the bathtub yourself. Yes. Oh wow. He's just not gonna get in there by himself. So how do you lure him in there? Um, at least you gotta have a leash. You gotta have a leash and then just you know pick him up. You know, make sure you don't get out of the bathroom and then you gotta just pick him up. Yeah, honestly, he weighs I would say probably between thirty and forty pounds. Maybe a little 30 bit more. Thirty and forty pounds. Woo, he's big. Then can you can maybe you even can you pick maybe him up? Maybe a little bit more. Yeah, I can definitely pick him up. <laughs> oh, okay. I can definitely pick him up. You're like, no, I got this. I got this, kitty. I got yes. 30 pounds. Yeah, I'd definitely. be high vibe. I would be like, holy smucks. Like, somebody help me get this little wild creature right. yes. in the bathtub with me. Hi, buddy. Hi, Vibesburger. Yeah, this is Titus. He's an English bulldog. This is T Dog's new doggy. He's had him for about five and a half months, so he's not super yeah. brand new. It's Cece. Oh, that's Cece. She's got bunnies. So we we're just checking. We're just checking out Titus and seeing. Now, T Dog, if you were gonna take, um, if you were gonna take Titus with you, where? What are the things that he would need? That he would need, um, definitely a leash. <laughs> Just to, you know, to, um, and uh, he would definitely need his dog, his uh, dog toys. He loves his balls, so you definitely gotta bring a dog ball with him. Because if you, if you give him a ball, he slept for days. So you gotta give him a ball. And uh, you have to give him a ball. Similar, oh, and you know, uh, similar, you know, similar to uh, yeah, uh, sleep. So his dog bed. He loves his dog bed. So. Aww. So he wants to, I mean, but what about you? Hello, everybody. Welcome into Meow and Me. This is our first special disc. Uh, this is Titus the dog. Oh, <laughs> what about me? I don't know what honestly I would bring, to be honest with you. <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, I don't know what I would do. You don't know? No, yeah, Bubba. I don't know. Bobby. Hi, Daddy. Daddy. How long do bulldogs live? Do you know? How long does it live? That is a good question. I, I would I would assume you know uh, ten years. I don't I don't know. I'd I'd Hi, have buddy. to look. I know my great Dane lived from usually it, it, great Dane for like eight to ten years, but I haven't looked on him. No. <laughs> Can 
Billy's people, can you guys go ahead and kick out any people who are being distracting or rude in the comments? Okay. Like, please to go ahead and kick them without me asking. This is not appropriate, and they're not, you know, can I have one person please dedicate to doing that for me, please, for this whole hour? Okay, I need someone to do this for me for the whole hour. I don't know why we're having so many trolls tonight, but no, I do mother. know that I need one of you to dedicate yourself to me for the hour or until the show ends. So, oh, there's the Loyal Cowboy. Yeah, I had to do a bouncer reset because last week we had the same problem. And and there was nobody here to help. JT, hello. Okay, um, so what do you think you guys are going to do for Christmas or for Halloween? Are you taking him away for the holidays or what will you be doing? Uh, we're just going to be staying around here. I'm definitely going to get some Christmas toys and stuff like that, but we have to stay right here. Nice. So he's staying here for the holidays with you? Yeah, very much so. Okay, cool. All right, T Dog. Well, that's super exciting. I mean, I, I'm, you know, I think he's adorable. If everybody else thinks he's adorable, press one. I think he's adorable. He's a. He is an absolute. Yeah, God, he thinks he's adorable too. I think I think he's just a, a little little bundle of love. He just looks, he just is so full of love. You can just see he just oozing it all over. He wants, he wants to love you. He's a very loving dog. That is for sure. He's very caring. Yeah, he definitely wants to love you, and that's really sweet because, I mean, he's just a he is a lover, and that's so nice, you know. It's so nice. Yeah. I'm excited for you, oh. T-Dog, to see what, what, you know, what this is going to look like for you and, and Titus going forward, you know. Yeah. Um, I just, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what your guys' future will look like, but I am very excited about it. So, um, Nobody knows what the future looks like, you know what I mean? Yeah. I think it's, I think it's a very long future. I mean, it's... <laughs> I mean, I think it's cute, you know? I think it's cute. I, I've never thought I would like watching a bulldog as much as I did. And, and he's just a lover. You can just see how much love he has to give. I hope if somebody's thinking about buying a pet or adopting a pet that they'll consider potentially adopting an English Bulldog. They are so cute. They are so lovely. They are. I, I agree. They are amazing. All right. Well, T-Dog, I'm going to um, let you tell us when you stream. Okay. No problem. So I stream usually about this time, usually about eight, uh, you know, uh, eight, uh, 8 o'clock Eastern time. Um, mm -hmm. usually about three or four days a week and more on the weekends. I don't have a really, you know, set days that I, you know, stream, you know, just, you know, usually two to four days a week and more on the weekends. Okay. Is it always in the evening? Usually in, if it's, if it's a weekend, I, I might do a morning or early afternoon stream, but usually it is in the evening. Lovely. Okay. So there you guys have it. This is T-Dog. You've met his beautiful English bulldog, Titus. Please hit him with a favorite. Go say hi to him and his doggy when you get a chance. Um, he's a, They're both our special guests tonight. Hi, buddy. Thank you for coming on, T-Dog. You're very welcome. You're very welcome, Kitty. Thank you for having me. Have a good night. All right, so if you guys are just coming into Meow and Me, welcome in. That's our first special guest of the night, T-Dog, and his special English Bulldog. Um, 
the special English Bulldog Titus. Um, this week I have a little announcement with um, Pets in the News. So we're going to talk about, um, you know, I, I can't help but to know this. I mean, you guys all know Queen Elizabeth passed away. Um, but I think wanted to talk about a little bit about Queen Elizabeth um, also had pets, right? I don't know if you all knew this, but Queen Elizabeth II was pronounced, you know, dead on September 8th. And royal watchers and dog lovers everywhere had one lingering question. What would happen to her beloved pets? Thank you, brother. The queen was known for her love of corgis and dorgies, a crossbreed of corgis and dolphins, as well as other animals. At the time of her death, she left behind four dogs, including one dorgy, Candy, who was photographed with her during the Platinum Jubilee. The other three dogs, including two corgis and one cocker spaniel. On sub Sunday, September 11th, a source close to Prince Andrew, the Queen's third child, confirmed that the two corgis would move to his home in Windsor. So there was no word what would happen with the other two dogs. Oh, go ahead and mention it in the comments, T-Dog, and I'll totally shout it out for you. So basically, there these two of the dogs went with Prince Andrew, and guess what? There is a fight over the other two dogs. I'm so excited. I like a little scandal in the royal family. Thank you, Mandy. So anyways, <laughs> she... Goofy and the prince settled their civil so so prince uh, so bounded with the over the queen and riding horses the other two dogs are being fought for okay the dorgy and the corgi all right and so so right now there's like a hot dog fight but in a not in a root like a vicious way happening in the royal family a hot dog fight they want to know they they're fighting over the doggas, okay? Yes, I know. It's it's sassy. It's sassy. Now moving on to something a little different because I, I also wanted to put to talk to you guys about um, this one as well. So in this middle school, and okay, so it's an Ohio middle school. There's this facility dog um, named Meg in the in the middle school. And she gets her picture in the yearbook every year. She's an actual, like, on-site middle school dog. And her name is Meg. And it's, okay, so I want to talk a little bit about this, because I think this is a lovely idea, that I think having um, pets at school is a really, really awesome thing you know a facility dog is making waves at an ohio middle school with her second annual yearbook photo photo meg a two and a half year old golden retriever has warmed the hearts of students and staff and parents at goshen middle school a public school in the buckeye states claremont county she had a yearbook style photo taken with a red bandana bearing her name which pops next to her golden fur and blue gray background the photo was shared Monday, September the 26th <laughs> on all of the social media accounts. Do you guys want to see the dog's picture? I know you do. I know you do. Okay. Oops, that's the wrong one, but we're that's okay. I got to figure out how to flip my um, thing here real quick. Here's the picture of the the yearbook resident. <laughs> Isn't he cute? He's adorable. <laughs> so this is Meg. This is Meg. Yes. So she's actually like this is like an adorable, adorable, adorable little story about having pets in a public middle school. Um, you feel free to look it up and read through it, but this is her second school year in Goshen Middle School, and Meg lives with Mrs. Kelly Denu, a seventh grade math teacher and her family, and Denu is a professional, a paraprofessional, in addition to being one of Meg's trained handlers, um, so she's a trained handler of the dog, 
Um, and it's not just like not trained to be around students and children, um, but it's it's just something that they wanted to talk about because they said it just provides hundreds of support, love and comfort and affection to so many people at school. And I thought to myself, this is a beautiful example of what, what kids could achieve, you know, maybe having, thank you so much, Cece, maybe having an opportunity to, to touch a pet because some children never get a chance to have a pet or own a pet. So I was like, this, this, um, this was just a beautiful story. It's, it's, you can look it up yourself. It's dog at Ohio Middle School gets her own yearbook picture. And her dog, and the dog's name is Meg. Feel free to look it up, y'all. Now, I have my second special guest here, y'all. And I'm super excited to welcome in um, Cece, who is Vipes down here right now, who's spinning these wheels. Thank you so much. If you are ready to be in the box, please feel free to hit the guest box for me. Everybody give up. Um, now, I think we're going to be seeing a bunny tonight, I think. So throw up some bunny emojis. <laughs> okay. See, while you, while you see me, I'm gonna actually give them this and put on camera. It's nice to see everybody. So hold on. I how did you get named Vibesburger? He took oh or, she took it and ran. Oh look at her go! She's so cute. <laughs> and then they stay there because they know that you know it's safe oh look see she threw it so but anyway i got vibes um burger and i'll pick them up in a second but i just wanted to show you guys this i got vibes burger because he took my 20 milli which was really exciting and shout out to close to millies i see you're close to your 12 and i'm now almost close to my 21 so look at that there we go yay so there you guys yes okay now um cc can you tell me Tell me about these bunnies. Like, sure. how long have you had these bunnies? Okay, so this is Audrey. And the Audrey. one that you saw run over there, the little fatty, that's my favorite yeah. one, Pepper. I know I shouldn't say that out loud. No, it's um, okay. They're actually sisters, and they're lion head bunnies. Um, and I got them both together because, honestly, I went to pick up clothes for my son from this lady that was a farmer. And she started telling me about meat rabbits. And then I almost adopted, like, six little bunnies from there. But I thought about it. And I didn't know that there was such thing as, like, designer bunnies. And so, as you can see, they're not, like, normal, like, the rabbits you see outside that have the big eyes. They actually have a little bit smaller. And the way that they're built is a tiny bit different. So they don't really survive very – do you see her? <laughs> they don't <laughs> she she took it and now she's chasing it thank you Gotti. um but they don't really survive very um well in the wild obviously because they're genetically modified um that's why you see he's got more like fluffy hair than normal uh also this is jack he is actually he was a foster bunny i oh. went to florida to swim with sharks and they were boarded together look at them they were boarded together and the woman was like here will you just foster this bunny and once rabbits get bonded it's really bad for them to get unbonded so i actually ended up um keeping him and he's a little weirdo his ears aren't quite right you know but he's got the most personality he gets stuck in the garbage and i'll show you one other quick thing just so he also likes to burrow into the hay and break the boxes so we have to hide it from him because he likes to do that and this is my dog by the way but anyway this is them again oh god they're so cute Cece. i'm about okay. to What's... i'm about to pick them up because i want to but i just wanted to show show them less stress before i harass them and pick them up right because i'm pretty sure they probably don't like when you pick them up no he's the easiest to handle Oh, wait, you can't see him now because my camera pans up. But he loves bananas. Oh, okay. What was his name? This one's Jack. Jack. And did you name him Cece? Yes, I did. Because he, I was like, he's kind of wild like a jackrabbit and he's always doing crazy things and his ears are weird. So that's why I named him Jack. And the other one is, um, the other one, I'm going to go pick up the fluffiest one. 
which is Lucky pepper. Oh. Yeah, which is pepper. So I'll go grab her one second, okay? Okay, yep, yeah. We are here for it. We are here definitely for it. Who doesn't love bunnies? Throw some bunny emojis in the comments, everybody. Pepper, and she's the one that is like my favorite because of oh. looking how fluffy she is. She's so fluffy. She looks oh. like a little dog. And she's also got great big feet. You see her big feet? And she's yes. got a really big butt for a bunny also. And bunnies don't usually like this, but she's letting me do it because, you know, hopefully she thinks there's going to be some treat. And there is. <laughs> okay, see, I'm sorry not to laugh. It's she's just so bad genius. right now. Look at her. She's smelling it vigorously, but like, oh, put me down. Put me down. But she'll be Oh, she's it. so fluffy. How do you not just smush her? Um, because I know she hates it. Mm. That's the only thing that keeps me. I do lay on the ground by my bunnies quite frequently and they're trained to go like they can go through a little tunnel. Um, but it is, I never knew that rabbits were so skittish, but they're prey animals. So it's a lot of them are like that, especially the females. Males are a little bit easier to handle. Oh, well, what's this one's name? This one's Pepper. This is Pepper. This is so Pepper. we've got Audrey, Jack, and Pepper. Right. I'll grab Audrey. Okay. And this one, and how old are, how old are so your bunnies? She, she is, um, the girls are two years old and the boy is one years old. The girl is two years old. Okay. So They're this is, old. which one, one is the girl again? Audrey, Audrey, which was the one that's, uh, multicolored and Pepper. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, they're both they're sisters. They're sisters, so they fight. Oh, yeah. they're so long haired. Do they? Is it a special? You said it was a lion, a lion head, head bunny. Yeah. So lion they're head. they have a, they have most of the lion heads have a mane, but as you saw, Jack had lost all of his mane. So you see, it's like actually longer. Ooh, she mm -hmm. didn't like that. It's okay. I love you. Please don't be mad. Um but like around the head the head of their face and then also like her butt soda her butt's got like extra fur right so she's like super fluffy that way and you'll see that um when i grab audrey she still has part of her mane but it's not nearly as fluffy when she was a baby oh they are so cute do they snuggle with you cc um sometimes um they're like now she's chilling but you can't really see her because she's gray <laughs> But she, yeah, they do sometimes. They really are more like just inquisitive animals that want to do random things. Like they'll follow me around the house. And then as soon as I go to pet them, they'll run away. They'll go hide in my closet. They'll, you know, like they sleep facing me. They stare at you a lot, which is kind of creepy. Honestly, I had to get used to it when I first got them. It's like, oh my gosh, they just keep looking at you because rabbits don't, you know. But right. yeah, they, they like to snuggle by you more than with you. But as they get older, I read that they, um, their temperament changes a little bit and they actually like it. Oh, oh. Yeah. do they like have to be at a certain body temperature or certain kind of temperature? I don't know. I know nothing about oh, bunnies. Oh, okay. So just not too hot to be honest with you. So Ooh, they I just need to be at a like, kind of like a, medium yeah so like if it gets too hot they don't love it so do you see how her mane is like short and not as not as fluffy and then the rest of her body is also not as fluffy right so that's, that's what i mean by the she's kind of she just made a little sound at me that was like put me down but we're gonna give her some rep, uh, banana and look she's fine she's so cute isn't it like adorable to watch their little mouth I, I give them berries. Sometimes I sit on the ground with them and eat berries and they eat, get, eat berries with me. That's smart. That's smart. So, like that's very cute. Um, I go through a lot of fresh food, a lot of fresh, like a lot of different, um, obviously organic lettuce, but not ever iceberg. There we okay. go. But not ever iceberg. Um, uh, and pellets, but mostly it's hay, which I never, I also have, didn't know that bunnies ate hay but they eat a ton of hay so kind of like guinea pigs guinea pigs they eat hay and have a litter box they also have a litter box so they free roam around my house that's why you saw like a blue area for them and then right now they just like kind of lay by me when i'm not doing anything 
Let's see what's happening. She's done. She's full. They're like, where are the extra treats at? <laughs> and they're like, why is she touching us? Stop touching us. You know, you're not grooming us. I've just been about an hour away from them. They, you know, like they're not ready. Um, they use a lot of hair and they can't get all of that. Jason, like, so it's a where they get these things called oh. pills, but it's bad for them. Where it's obviously a ball and there's a string. Um, but anyways, we have to groom them weekly, and that takes a you know, considerable amount of time and cut their nails because it's not like in the wild where they can, you know chill that's so crazy i'm okay if you're just coming in welcome in to meow and me this week we don't have any kitties we had a dog an english bulldog named titus and now we have three bunnies named audrey jack and oh pepper, pepper. Oh, i was so close so and this is cc their proud owner okay make sure you hit her with a favorite um cc what kind of foods okay since i am new to this bunny world okay what kind of foods are bunnies allowed to eat like you mentioned something like we don't want them to eat something what, iceberg, what kind of foods yeah. iceberg lettuce why no iceberg lettuce and tell us what they do eat Chocolate dunk bread it has no nutritional value. So finding things that animal could animals can actually get nutritional value from is healthy. Okay, so rabbits should eat, and I'm gonna say should because I'm gonna tell you the things that my rabbits do, which are insane. Um, rabbits should eat a fourth a cup of pellets per each rabbit, and also like basically three cups of greens per rabbit and unlimited hay. So all day I'm adding new hay because Honestly, my rabbits are a little bit more spoiled that they like the hay a little bit. Like they like it three times a day. And you can tell that's why they stand back a lot. They know I got a treat. Um, what they shouldn't eat is to tor tortilla chips. Do they? Jack does. Jack eats everything. Jack eats chocolate. He had chocolate all over him. And I thought, I was like, oh my gosh, did he poop himself? No, he had chocolate all over him. And so both of the bunnies were licking him. He is, he jumped in the trash. He is like a very adventurous bunny. He's the one that dug the hole into the hay box that you see. So now I have to block the hay from him. So he's, he's made it a lot. We haven't went to the vet. He's absolutely fine, but he he's eaten leather shoes before. I didn't know bunnies would even eat leather, but like he's wild. He's he is wild. <laughs> and when he eats bad things, I call it spicy hay. He likes spicy hay, like electrical cords. They love those. They love electrical cords because it's like a root to them in the wild. So they I've went through countless I um iPhone chargers. Luckily, not my iPad charger because I think I might have a problem with them. We're so we're fine. The iPad charger hasn't gotten eaten yet. But yeah, they like carpet. They like they <laughs> like things. They like to eat. That's why their teeth are taken care of because they'll chew and eat everything. Like everything. He's even jumped up to like sleep by me and nibbled the couch right by me just because he likes the way that the ridging of it feels on his teeth. It's crazy. Yeah, you have to we have special things for our cords because because they've destroyed so many cords and like my work bag they ate my son's backpack he was just sitting on there eating away just happy as can be <laughs> their favorite bad thing to do their favorite bad thing to do is to chew on a dryer lint you know the dryer lint sheets and then right. I have to chase them. They just like to chew. They're not even eating it. They're just chewing it, just chewing it. So you see them, they're so cute. And then they're stuffed with this like dryer lint running around. It's not, anyway, they're at That's adventure. just funny. That's just hilarious. I love it. I cannot tell you how much I love it. So basically this gang, gang, gang of bunnies. Yes. Is <laughs> they, run, they run my life. They do. Like, I know when they're, like, I know when their hay isn't right. I know when their food isn't right. So, fun fact, carrots are actually, like, you know how you saw me giving them banana? Carrots are basically, like, banana, which is, like, ice cream to them. So, you oh. can't give them a ton of carrots because it's too much. I give them a lot of banana um, just right now because I'm picking them up and I'm handling them and I want them to have, like, a really good association. 
right with being handled yeah. do you, how often do you handle them mostly oh. it sounds to me like you meet them down on their their level Is i it try to but at least like twice a week because they're adventurous they really are they'll get stuck behind things they'll go hide in my closet they'll one of them even like to go out on the balcony for some reason and just chill out there and i'm like you can't what if someone tries to kill you like a bird you know, like, what, what if, I don't want that to be my life. Like that sounds like a soap opera. Oh, your bunny got out on the, like, and you live on the second floor and a bird took it. I don't want that. I feel like I might have that luck. So anyway, they're just very adventurous. So I do pick them up frequently, but I just try not to like hold them unless they really like it. They seem to after be groomed, being groomed, they'll like sit there for a little bit longer, probably because they want to make sure I get all the hair so they don't poop it out. No, that's fast. I mean, I mean, too, I mean, they do say the same thing with like most animals. Like if you have a long haired, fluffy animal breeding um, or sorry, grooming is incredibly important in their life. Um, it's an incredible part of pet ownership, whether it's like a dog, a cat or bunnies, you know, apparently. Um, wow i so i love this now you said the word did i hear you say this right litter box oh yeah do you want to no i don't want to show you their no you don't box. need well, to I show it to me i don't want to show like inside but they have two different litter like setups they have the one that's over there and then they have this one uh like a normal one so they usually really use a litter box like an actual litter box they use the litter box yeah so and the only kill. reason the gates are up is because I didn't want to have to chase them on a featured show through across my house. So that's why they're blocked in right now. Oh my gosh. So like, okay. Did you have to train them at all? Yes. To... And sometimes because Jack is a dude, when he gets mad, he'll like try to go outside the area. He gets mad. I think it's kind of like a cat. Like when they get mad at you, they do wild <laughs> things they're not supposed to. I never even thought I would have a cat. This is the clo this is this is it. This is the line. This is the line. I am so I am learning so much about bunnies and I love it. If you guys love this, press one. Like who all knows about bunnies in here? You know about bunnies? This is your first time learning about bunnies? Cause this is like maybe the second time I've learned about anything about bunnies. I love this bunnies. I love these. These are great. Like, yeah. do, what happens? Do they get sick? Do bunnies get sick? Do they, what? Um, um, so they're indoor bunnies, so they don't really get sick often. But there's really weird things that can happen to indoor bunnies, like for because of the hay and different. Obviously, you're bringing things outside. They can actually get worms, which I was. Oh. I, they haven't had them, thank goodness, but they can. They also can get um, flies. Any sort of indoor fly can also cause something in their butt, like a fly. Anyway. So they can get those things. My bunnies haven't been sick. The biggest thing that has happened is Audrey or uh, Pepper. You saw the fluffiest one. Her face is kind of flat. So she has like a breathing like allergy thing that's similar to like a pug would be of like at night she snores. I didn't, I was the first time, bunnies don't normally make a lot of sounds. So when they make sounds, it's usually like a thumping because they're very mad at you and they don't like what you're doing so they'll just like thump their feet and like stare at you my bunnies normally are happy so i've only experienced like once or twice them actually thumping at me versus thumping at each other um oh. <laughs> they thump at each, they're 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 bunnies are more gangster than people think one they have to be bonded with someone two they'll fight to the death three they have giant claws that you don't realize like are there until you know they're fighting each other but they're they're all about it they're very territorial it's crazy wow. they, my dog. they had my dog moving out of the living room for a second but now they're all fine now everybody's fine but for a second they thumped at my dog and my dog's like what is happening why are you mad at me you're small do you want to kiss me she just kept trying to lick them and they hated it i you know i'm like i'm very interested okay you said when they get mad uh-huh they thump they literally thump like their back legs they just they just start like pounding it on the like, ground they're, like yeah they just pound it on the ground and you're like what the heck is that and usually they're they're looking at you dead in the eyes so you know something's wrong so like 
they'll just thump. So like it, what, so the only reason they thumped at me is I moved the litter box and this toy that Jack had had. And he's very specific. Like I told you, he's the one with the most character. And so he just stared at me from across the room, thumping at me. And I was scared because he looks a little creepy in the nighttime because his eyes, you know, to be honest with you, they're like, they look a little like sometimes they look a little red, but it was fine. He didn't, he didn't hurt me. I'm okay. I'm not a zombie. Oh my God. I, what do they, what, okay. So they thump and they snort. Yeah. What do they do? Like, yeah, do they, they, make start, a they thump and they snort. And then this is how they just kind of relax, by the way. Yeah, he looks like, or this is Jack, right? This is Jack. See how I can do all this to him and he just lays down and looks like a little kitty? Oh. Yeah. He looks they, super chill. The other ones won't do that. They're little, I won't say the word, but they are they get on my nerves with that because he lets me do whatever I want. See? Look at that. And I can he even touch little, a bunny butt. I touched a bunny butt. You wish you could do that. I kind of do. Yeah, low key, like on the down low, like definitely do. My cats don't, but like, I don't know. Run, Chuck Norris. Don't listen to this. Um, but yeah, no, I, I am actually, I don't know. Like, I think if after you look, I had one other guest who had bunnies on the show and I yeah. kind of fell in love with bunnies low key. And um, I don't think her bunnies were potty trained or litter trained. So that's interesting. Like, how did you get them to be litter trained? Did you like put food after they ate or did it or? Yeah, it's kind of similar to like how you do a dog where you just kind of remind them. Also, like I have a, I had the space small. So it was just their litter box and then I moved it open the more they didn't pee or poop where they shouldn't have. The other thing mm -hmm. is when bunnies get excited, they'll poop a little, like a little, like one will do a binky. It's where they just, a binky is when a bunny just is so happy. They just jump straight up in the air out of nowhere. It looks like they're doing a backflip, like just out of nowhere. They just, and then they do like a zoomy, right? So sometimes when they do that, a little poop pellet will come out. You can't be <laughs> mad because it wasn't intentional. It was an accidental poop. When there's a pile of the little poopies, there's like 28, you know they intentionally did it because that's when it's all coming out. <laughs> it's little pellets. It's little <laughs> tiny pellets, y'all. <laughs> It's a little handful of little poopies. They're little tiny. I used to sell their. I used to sell their poop because it's really good for your garden, and so oh. um, and they're indoor bunnies. So they would the lady would buy their poops, and it, anyway. Yeah. No. I mean, why not? I mean, people buy all kinds of manure for fertilization yeah. purposes. You know, for their garden. <laughs> why not? She why not bunny poop? Box, I mean, I would, like I wouldn't even have to get it out of the litter box. She'd come take the whole litter box and get the hay and the the pee and the poop and do something with it. Like, all right, go for it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I live in an apartment, so all of this is a little bit much. Like, I've got hay in an apartment. That's scary. So, like, go ahead, lady, take this pee poop. Do what you want to do with it. I hundred dollars. Yeah, that's not my uh, whatever. I would be like, here's the yeah. how much more can I give you? I'd be like paying rent this oh, month. Paying okay. rent, pay my mortgage, my <laughs> car payment, like whatever, you know? It's gonna take care of my grocery bill for the month. I'm down, whatever. Not about that, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I mean that part. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, so I mean it's it's so much fun. Um uh wow, we've just got a lot of people this tonight. Okay. <laughs> so does okay, so you have a dog, right? Yeah. yeah. So how does your dog and your bunnies get along? The other two just stare at her all the time. Like and and stay like it's like they're playing a game where they can never actually touch but they could always be in proximity right so but jack will go and lay by her she'll go and lick jack and they'll like kind of look they don't ever play but like she licks him he licks her it's very cute at first i was really nervous when she licked him i was like oh is the predator instinct you know because there is a such thing as the um predator or prey instinct in animals right like that's why mm -hmm. they operated there's nothing you could do even if they're domesticated right so i was very nervous about 
if she was just going to bite him. But she never did. She's fine. She never bit him, and she never bit the other bunnies, and they all just hang out. They were all outside, and they weren't supposed to be. That's why I was wondering what was going on. And I was wondering, the bunnies were gone. It's because she was outside on the, she had pushed the door open to go outside, and she was sitting out there with them, too. Wow. Yeah. I mean, that's that's interesting. So she's just like, I wonder if they think they're a bunny, or if the do the bunnies think they're a dog. I, Jack definitely thinks he's a dog or a child, a two-year-old, literally. Uh, yeah, he acts like he acts like a two. They, he knows his name when he was in that box of hay that I first showed you. He that's right. across from the room, and so when I'm streaming, I'll you'll hear me say, "Oh no, Jack jumped up right there again." He'll jump up there and stare at me before he eats the hay that he shouldn't be eating because he already has hay. Like he's he wow. is a character. I laugh sometimes, and sometimes I'm a little bit mad, to be honest. I'm like, you little word. Look, bunnies! Let's go, bunnies! You're screaming eagle, shout out to the bunnies! I love this gift because they not only do they kiss and do, rabbits do multiply a lot. Like that. Uh, they, do the, they do this. I like that. Sorry. I got I No, I that's fine. Yeah. Question, let's talk about multiplying bunnies. Do yeah. your bunnies have bunnies? Oh no, I, I live in an apartment. I would, I, and I also believe in like adopting or whatever, but I would let them if, if I did it, I would totally be into breeding some sort of bunnies, but Audrey and Pepper have no, you know, they can't multiply, but Jack oh, okay. does have actual, I didn't know bunnies could get actual testicles. And I didn't oh. know that until he got a little bit older and I went to pick him up and he had bunny balls. And I was like, oh. ah! <laughs> anyway, so apparently, <laughs> so apparently when they get older, like you can see them from the back more than you you could. I didn't, the, the, the girls didn't have obviously anything. They have so much fur and this and that, but it was, it was an awkward feeling. Cause I was like, oh, he's a man now. It's time to get you, it's time to get you clipped. Right. I was going to say, do you have to get, I mean, I don't know. I know these oh, are, so for women, these are kind of say. probably weird questions, but Honestly, no, they're not weird. Have... They're not weird. It's actually so. Uh, there's a PSA for everyone that has bunnies or adopts bunnies that female bunnies get like or, or ovarian cancer or uterine, some sort of cancer, um, more often if they do not actually get spayed. So it's better to get your female bunny spayed because a lot of bunnies end up getting cancer or whatever. Um, so it's not a weird question. It's actually a completely thing. He, I've waited just because with COVID and everything, it's been really hard to figure out when to take him in. And there is this new disease that came over from Europe called um, RH2 or something like that. And it kills bunnies. It's like a bunny flu that kills them. And there's no sign until after the bunny dies. So like your oh bunny gets God. sick and then you take him to the vet and then they die and then you have to quarantine. So... It's, it's insane. It's insane. So anyway, so I haven't taken him just because I don't want him to have, like, if I don't have to, I'm going to wait. That's why I was telling you about the attitude and the spraying thing. That's the reason I would take him is because when he gets upset, he likes to spray a little. Oh, so interesting. I didn't know all this stuff about bunnies. So in actuality, getting your bunny spaded is a good thing. Yeah. Yeah, for female bunnies. You know, I mean, can I get a bouncer to help out here? Thanks. I'm not a I, look. My all of my bouncers are not gonna like this, but none of them are gonna be bouncers tomorrow. <laughs> you're like, well, I see what you mean. There has been a lot of comments that you're like, okay, you know, and you're trying to read through, you know. Yeah, so this that. is it's not hard. okay. Yeah, I'm not. No, especially a bunny stew. That's horrible. Um, okay. What is your, what is your, um, okay. When you stream, do you have your bunnies on your stream with you? I, I, um, actually groom them every Saturday on stream. And again, you frequently catch me. Jack jumps on the table and on the couch and all that. So Jack is in the stream constantly. Audrey and Pepper, they're more like, Oh, you know, here's a banana. Now I'll be nice to you. 
you know, so they do, but every Saturday I, sh I groom them because it is a process. And I think it's, people have said, it's also feels like healing to watch you just do something repetitively, you know? And so, you know, I watch them, they have a special comb that picks up certain, like their hair and I don't know, people love it. I don't know why they do. They just watch me sit there and groom the money. I'm not even looking at the camera half the time. I, I mean, I'm so fascinated. I feel like I could ask you so many more questions, honestly, Cece, but I just looked at the time. I didn't even realize that it was already 9 or 10-11. Um, so, I mean, we only got, we were a little bit actually past our time. Um, so, with our four minutes that are left, I would you like you to talk about you. Um, tell me, like, when do you stream? Um, when can people find you? Do you have social media that people can hook up to? Tell us about you. Sure. Thank you. Um, I love animals, obviously. I stream daily. I would say I'm a little bit more of a night streamer than I'd like to admit. So I'm often on at this time um, to a little bit later because it's only seven my time. So I'm on, I'm on pretty late. Um, and my streams, you can find everything from a little like casual like conversation to sometimes talking about social social services. I run a nonprofit for women experiencing homelessness. So sometimes that like seeps into what I'm um, having conversation about. Um, there is a lot of cursing and there should, you know, that's just, that's what's happening. Um, and, and I have an auction coming up, uh, the Rose auction with Travel Bay. Come watch me groom the bunnies on Saturday after I get sold on Friday. I think that's like what I got. I love this. So I love this. So you're, you're working with homeless women, um, making sure that they are, you know, rehomed or find a home. Um, you're streaming, you know, you got the bunnies, yeah. you got an auction on Friday. Yeah. You know, you all hit, hit, please hit CC with a favorite. Go check her out. She's got an auction. Is it a name change, Cece? What's what's up here for this auction? It's a it's a name change and like a virtual hangout. Which I want to say this: like maybe you need have ideas on how you want to start a social work thing, or you have some family things, and I can give you some resources. You don't have to like actually talk to me. Talk to me. I could just give you some help if you if you want. I love that. I love that. You know, I work. I, I love. I love people who work in social service fields. So I think it's so important. You know, um, just I think it's just so super important. So the world needs more people who are in social service positions. So um, you guys, please hit her with a favorite. You met Jack. You met Audrey. Yeah. You met. Pepper? Yes! Pepper's my favorite one. I don't know why you're showing. She's the fluffiest one of them all. And I, a like, showstopper. I, you know, I was like, am I going to get them all right? Um, you met all the bunnies tonight. They were amazing. We love the bunnies. I appreciate you, Cece, for coming on the show. Thank you for, for spending your time with us tonight for a little while. Appreciate your time. Thank you. And thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. This has one, been really fun to do little bunnies everywhere oh i just <laughs> oh no, thank you so much all thank right you. you guys like hit her with a favorite now this is the time she's just going to be getting out of the box so bye. hit her with the favorite bye say bye to cc hit her bye. go follow her instagram maybe you'll get to see a picture of the bunnies i don't know maybe i hope so maybe maybe not i don't know also Ty, um, T Dogs with his special guest appearance with Titus the English Bulldog. This wrap this wraps up August or October third tonight um, for for Meow and Me. Remember, Meow means make each one wanted, and we are here to celebrate all pets. Thank you so much for all the gifts, you guys. Shout out to CC OG Lucky. S, Gotti, Sir Rock, Fred, McBaller, Mr. Moon, Mandy Candy, Vibe, Mystic, Taz, all of you guys, thank you so much for all of the gifts tonight. Um, special shout out again to my top meow of the night, 
um, Cece, which is right now she's known as but right now she's known as Vipes Burger Buns. <laughs> But also our special guest with the bunnies. So um, I appreciate you all coming in tonight. I hope you have a great night. Um, take care. And I will definitely see you around more this week. Um, so probably tomorrow. So take care of yourselves. And um, thank you all for the favorites. And um, if you're interested in being on the show and you have a special guest um, that you would like to share with our Meet Me community um, or POF community, our Meet Group community, whatever, um, if you want to be on the featured show and share your special pet, please, please, please hit up Emoji J, my admin, or myself on Instagram. That's the best way to get a hold of us. Um, we answer our messages and let us know um i have a pet don't just say hi please make sure you say hi i have a pet i'd love to have on the show here comes my special pet chuck norris Mwah. hi chucky say hi to everybody yep he's here to say bye everybody so <laughs> that's what he does he comes in at the end he wants to snuggle with all those bunnies so um but yes you can go um you can definitely hit me up on my Instagram. Let me know that you have actual pets that you'd love to have on the show. And I would be love to have you on the show as our special guest. So um, have a great night, everybody. Have a great Tuesday. And I will see you again soon.